<laughs> it is time! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Corey continuing to welcome the Five Nights at Freddy's 3, the demo. First of all, so much thanks to the man himself, Scott Cawthon, for once again giving me early access to this. There, there's nothing else that needs to be said. Let's get into it. Fazbear Fright, the horror attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, featuring actual. Dang it! I didn't get to finish. What the freak? What is this? Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. Mm. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. So watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Mm -hmm. uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Mm -hmm. uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. Okay. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep <laughs> that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Oh my goodness! Okay, so first of all, this freaking stuff is what he was talking about at the end. About if anything goes offline. These cameras, though? Oh my goodness! Alright, um... Man, it's, it's so much harder to see than before, I feel, because of all the the uh, interference and all of these. Ugh. I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point, but it sounds like we're, we're just a restaurant based off the spoof. We're like a freaking, like, so the restaurant takes place after all of that stuff happens? So we're basically like spoofing kids getting killed and all of that stuff that happened before since if i'm not mistaken this happens 30 years after um five nights at freddy's one i think since five nights at freddy's two is a prequel <sighs> so much going on but we're just gonna keep checking these cameras hello anybody so i'm here and he also said to watch the freaking ventilation I wonder. That was not that hard. I think he, I think he shortened the night length. I don't know. What the freak is happening? Uh oh. Back with the mini game. What the freak is that? Follow me. All right. Must be the purple man. 
Are we gonna get more of an explanation of who you are this time, Mr. Puppet Man? I mean, uh, Purple Man? Oh, oh, these must be rats, okay. Let's just keep following him. Hey, dude! Error. What? It won't let me go that way. Alright, let's try to back- <gasps> OH MY GOD! Wait, okay. Should we should we go ahead with night two? Nah, the suspense is real. And we're gonna have to end it there. I know, I know, I'm a freaking villain. I need to keep it going, but make sure that you subscribe and come back because I'm about to upload this next part ASAP. Thank you once again so much to the man, Scott Cawthon. You are a freaking legend for just making this and letting me get my hands on it early. Thank you so much. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first part of the FNAF 3 demo. If you did, be sure to assist us at Samurai. Slice that like button. Subscribe today to join the Samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters.